Did you know that you can do sites that don't require complete reload using only common Lisp? We will take advantage of HTMX, which is a JavaScript library that moves most of the interaction using a declarative syntax in the HTML. In particular, in this video, we will use it to make Ajax requests. Let's start a new project in which we need a web server. We will use Niggle for the routing, which is based on Clack, and Spinneret to generate HTML. And we don't need anything else because HTMX will use the declaration that we pass using Spinneret. I've moved the REPL in the new package using Ctrl C tilde. First of all, we set up the server. And then we can start it. We can see that the server has started, but it doesn't provide any root. So let's set up the main page. We have a macro that defines the main structure of the page. This is a usual HTML page. In the head, we import HTMX and Bulma CSS, while we allow the user of the macro to define the body of the page. In the root, in the main layout, we just want a form in which we can insert the name of a new book and then we see the list of all the books. We put everything in a div and we have a form with a text field and the submit button. This is what we have so far. Now we have to decide where to put the list of books. The easiest choice is just saving them in a list. In a future video we may improve this storage. Let me know in the comment where you would be interested in seeing the books saved in. I put a book as a default value just as an example. In the main page the book list will have to be updated every time we add a new book. So we define a function book component that just draws all the books. The ID is important because we will target this div when we want to update the list. We save the list as an unordered list. We can include the component using the row tag. The row tag is quite dangerous, but it's fine to use it if the strings were generated already by Spinneret, like in the case of books component. Now we have to actually update the page using HTMX. HTMX will have to listen on form submit. So we add some attribute to form. All the HTMX attribute starts with hx, hx get. This will be the URL that will add a new book. The problem is that hx is not standard HTML5, so we use data hx get. Otherwise, Spinneret throws some warning. We still have to define the add book root, but we will do it later. We also have to tell HTMX to replace the target and the target is the tag with attribute book list. Let's see the result. We can see that when I click on add, a new request was done to add book. Now let's add this root. The goal of this root will be to add a new book and render the list of films again. First of all, we push a new value in the list. Look at the value inside params. In particular, we are looking for the book name and we want to add it to books. Finally, we have to render the books component again. Now I have added the root and if I click add, we can see that the list was updated without reloading all the page. It may be still interesting to clean the text field after the submit. For this, we need a little bit of JavaScript. In particular, we have to react to hx on colon colon after request. To put a colon inside a keyword, we have to use pipe, and this should be enough. This time I have to reload the page. And we can see that it worked. I think that HTMX is a really promising technology. And what do you think? Let me know in the comment what do you think about it. As usual, if you like the video, leave a like and subscribe.